Central presented by Jeep. Good morning. Robert morning. Flores, Mark DeRosa, I'm Lauren Shahadi. The start of Hall of Fame weekend. We have ourselves a very big show. You're headed to Cooperstown. I'm going to drive up tonight. I am. I called Smaltzy. I'm like, Smaltzy, I know there's... Go. Love it. So I'm going to drive up tonight, play tomorrow morning. Chipper Jones having a party. Big Jim Tomey, nicest yeah. man on the planet, having a party. He is the nicest Vlad. On the planet. Trevor oh, Hoffman. Yeah. Got a pretty big weekend planned. I'm mad. You ever get mad like at your kids when they, you yell at your kids or they let, yeah, laugh yeah. you off? Annoyed in the middle that. of the day. You would hate me like, then. Get it together, Lauren. I yes. have every light on in the house. Oh, it's boy. Okay. Yeah, I was a scaredy cat as a kid. So in our meeting every morning, there's Michael usually Myers. one or two things. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> oh, you're uh, There's usually one or two things that need to be repeated. This is one of them. Listening to MLB radio, driving to play golf yesterday. And Casey Stern and Brad Lidge, they do a great job mm -hmm. on there. They really do. And uh, I played for the Nats. He's he would make certainly. He's going to make about 35 losing million. A clubhouse. 35 million next three seasons. Would you? Max Scherzer walks out your door. You don't lose I know your you clubhouse? don't trade Max Scherzer. I was going <laughs> to stop at the top of the show. Of course we do. You said, what do you need? What do but the New York Brian Cashman Yankees might be calling need. Mike Rizzo. Bryce. Do they, are they nervous? I'm either going to have a sink or I'm not. You're putting on pinstripes for the first time. Oh, yeah. yeah he probably Tons of expectations. He was 100% nervous. So, 100%. Uh, what's behind me? <laughs> They call Mike Rizzo and Bryce Harper comes and plays right field for you. No the big deal. No big deal. This is a problem. I, I'm not even close to the player Aaron Judge. Problem. When, broken bones. Anything. Uh, Why? Tendons. Why is this? Just risk? because of, of, your, of your fire here. That's his top hand. That's him having to drop the. We talk about having the tack hammer at the skybox. That's him getting that right hand down and through. It, it just can become a problem. He can't swing a bat three weeks. He would need at least a week or On so the back after end, that. Yeah. Absolutely. Some sort of Same minor thing. league rehab. Absolutely. It, yeah, it's going to present, it's gonna pre, it's gonna present a problem. They obviously have the depth to cover it. I mean, you got Gardner, you have Hicks, you have Stanton you could put in the outfield. You can maneuver the DH. They could go out and acquire somebody. I don't know who that is, a stopgap guy. We throw out Bryce Harper uh, about Aaron Boone. Okay. And just... 132 RBIs. He hit 33 homers and 74 RBIs after the break. If they don't go out and get anyone to stop, I got goosebumps. I got I'm goosebumps not too. I thought, does that, that make earlier in the year? I can't recall the exact date, May, mid-May, when he hit the walk-off homer and Michael K said he needs to have his. Now he's. Now we go. Now he's got to have it. Now he's got. And you know what? Them going out and getting Happer certainly helps out. Yeah. You know, when you talk about Hap, you praise him yeah, he was as a, great, a competitor. Yeah, great teammate. Do him and Britain, do they change the game? I don't know if they necessarily change the game. Why I say that, guy showed up for work every day, and it is on top of you. Kind of short strides a little bit, not that, like, classic extension and longness through his wind-up, more of a, a jab step and kind of a, a fire out of the earlobe. He can run his heater, and for me... Is he the starter behind Severino in the playoffs? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. I think that's yet to be determined, but I would have to lean. Happer will not be intimidated by, by the big city. Our Ken I, Rosen, I, I like him. Going. Ken Rosenthal said, uh, you know, with that judging. To the Bronx and Scherzer out of I DC. didn't what send I Scherzer anywhere. Because I, ra you can argue that might be the most lived contract. up to contract ever. How could it even get better? It could. Yeah. It could. It, you know, Maybe not, though. The, the Yankees could be facing the Oakland A's. Cubs have a two-and-a-half game lead. A lot to like about Cole Hamels in Chicago. You said he's typecast to put on a Cubs uniform. Yeah, Why? Doesn't, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't I know either. I just feel yeah. like they need at certain times. I, I, I think Cole Hamels is, yeah, I think he fits perfectly. I, I, I think for me, when I look at the difference between Hap and Cole Hamels. I mean, obviously, Cole struggled a little bit this year, 5-9 and nine with a 4-7-2. But I was playing golf yesterday with Jason Mark. Long time. For me, when I, when I watch Cole Hamels pitch, and he could tell me to get, get lost, he reminds me a lot of John Lester. I see a lot of change up, down, and away, something hot in. And when I look at Cole's numbers, when he does that, I mean, no one hits his cutter. It's been good for the last 10, 12 years. Tyler Chatwood's been so up and down, walk, walking the farm. He had to do something. Theo Epstein's given his team a chance to, to, to be successful again. And, uh, yeah, I, cer I certainly like uh, 
Cole slotting in. That's three lefties, though. Getting a dollar eighty-eight. Bogarts one fifty-four. Nobody's done damage. How will Aaron Boone's script be written next? The last dun, dun, dun. Clayton Kershaw making his 15th start of the season as the Dodgers take on the Braves at SunTrust Park. His last five starts, Kershaw 2-1 and one with a 2-1-2. Two, two. On the bump for the Braves, Mike fulton who has struggled in his last three starts, going 1-2 and two with a 6-8-7. The righty looks to return to his first half form in the second game of this four-game set. Out to St. Louis for tonight's showcase game between the Cubs and the Cardinals. Cardinals have had the upper hand against the Cubs this season, beating them in 7 of 13. Luke Weaver will face Chicago for the second time in less than a week. And for the Cubs, Mike Montgomery making the start has a 1-2-5 in 10 games against the Cardinals. 8 p.m. first pitch right here on the network. And in Colorado, the Red Hot A's try to make it seven straight. They start a three-game series with the Rockies. Oakland DH Chris Davis on a tear, hitting six home runs. You can say that again in his last five games. And the Rockies keeping things close in the NL playoff race. Appreciate with our guy, Jason Stark. And we will dive a little bit deeper coming up. But first, <laughs> everyone at home, you know what they want. They want trivia. They so we're going to see the question off the top. And then we're going to answer in a thinking. His wheels are turning. He's, He's are you better. doing Google over there? I am, not, there? Cheat. I am not cheating. This is. <laughs> okay. All right. Bad. You at home can answer on Twitter. Hashtag MLB Central stuff. at MLB Network. And we answer in about five minutes time. Six players being inducted. You have fun facts. Things you appreciate about yeah. all of them. And for Jack Morris, is it the 14 straight opening day starts? Is that the top of your well, list? Well, you know what? That's one of them. Um, let me just say, yeah. Also in that room you were talking about, it was decided that Alan Trammell would be a Hall of Famer at age 60, six-time All-Star, World Series champion, World Series MVP. <laughs> I could go on and on. What stands out? Right now, I can still be overlooked, which leads me to Trevor Hoffman. I, I, what I think about when I when I think of Trevor Hoffman is when he got the call that he was going to go in the Hall, his reaction was unbelievable. I have goosebumps just thinking about it. What stands out about him? Well, I, you know, I did something with with Trevor Hoffman and when I posted it just when you make a statement like that people jump to it but when you see that that backs it up that backs up that Amazing, statement huh? uh, we were covering the futures game about a week ago in DC and all the talk was about Vlad Guerrero Jr and I interviewed Vlad and he said let's let's not forget <laughs> who was there before teach me something that I don't know uh, about him. okay I, I still don't understand how Vladimir Guerrero was not like it's in the DNA, right? Yeah, right. My favorite on this list, our guy Jim Tomey on the Hall of Fame of Kind. He's on a short <laughs> list. In what aspect? Yeah. Uh, nobody underappreciated. What wow. a monster. I, I love what David Justice was saying earlier about what a great teammate he was. <laughs> he was also talking about how hard Chipper Jones worked. We've been spending most of these three hours talking about Chipper Jones. Is there anything you have to add from that? Yeah, I think I can help you with that. And I, I don't know where Chipper with Mickey Mantle. Nothing meant more to him than that. I'm name. sure. Very cool. Six being inducted into Cooperstown this weekend. Trivia question. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, who's this trap guy? What? Jason Stark. Appreciate the time. Thank you so much. Let's take a break on 